Welcome back, Achievers, to your beautiful Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of August 28th. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me as always. He very much likes Mountain Dew, especially Mountain Dew with the blue flavoring. Alex. Frostbite. Thank Thank you. you. I'm glad you remembered. Thank you. Now, I remember frostbite i remember voltage mm-hmm. what was the one you really liked though like your wasn't your favorite uh was it white out feel- no 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 uh it was a game fuel one mm. it was the reddish orange one that came out around the time of modern warfare 3 i believe that sounds familiar and, and it's like a reddish orange my god dude that was like to me it was like the, the best Mountain Dew I've ever had. The game fuel was always the best. Oh, for sure. Alex, I wish I would bring them back. So that is, that's your favorite Dew flavoring, right? It, yeah, it, it was that one. But now since I don't think that one's ever going to be made again, it's just mm. Frostbite, the mm. one with the shark on it. Okay. Now, what is the favorite soda? Now, is that... I, mm. we're, we're cheating a little here. I assume it's the one we were just discussing, okay. correct? Okay. We're including mm. Coca-Cola, of course. No, see, it's, it's, see it, Mountain Dew is... I don't think Mountain Dew... I don't think Mountain Dew is my favorite favorite soda oh i think you just shocked a lot of achievers if i'm being honest which is crazy because it used to be uh, yeah i think uh, yeah i think so i think it was mine as well for a while yeah but like you know sometimes i think i just gotta stick with the standard coke yeah mine's a cheating because not many people like it but my fa- my favorite is called l8 mm-hmm. um the mm-hmm. actual thing is called l8 one if you want to look it up uh, it's really yeah. it's really delicious, and you can order it in a lot of places. Not most places, but you can order it in a lot of places. It's, really, it's delicious. It's like a ginger ale, close to a ginger ale, but it's phenomenal. And mm. it tastes very nostalgic for me, too, because I grew up with it. I have, uh, like, a case in my, uh, now, in my room right now, actually. Do you prefer a bottle or, mm. a, uh, or a can? So, for sure... For, so for sure, I prefer a bottle. A can okay. will suffice in a okay. quick quick one, but I prefer mm-hmm. a bottle, nice, cold, maybe some ice chips on it, take a mm-hmm. drink. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It's because phenomenal. I would ha- I have to have, or like, I of course, I can't get it every single time, but I prefer a fountain Coke with the crushed mm-hmm. ice. Like, the best way is to me is that one. That is... It's, it's, it's just like like fast food fountain like is it, Coke. For I assume that's with a straw? Best right not dude, no? not even i don't know it just tastes the best to me like versus a glass can mm-hmm. a bottle can or or excuse me a glass bottle or plastic bottle or a can mm-hmm. the fountain like the, the i guess maybe it's a syrup yeah they use different man, syrup in in the fountains and that, that the, the fountain drink man it's just the best i'm pretty sure is awesome i'm pretty sure the optimum way is a fresh fountain i, I believe i assume that's like mm-hmm. the optimal drinking of a of any beverage especially mm-hmm. carbonated is fountainized because it is different syrup and it is already cold too so it's so it's default cold you're not going to get it hot which is very nice yeah and i very much prefer that way but yeah now you said you prefer the the you said you prefer fountain with the crushed ice so the you know mm-hmm. the cubed ice is this yes. with a straw or are you are you getting like a glass with no top on it and you're like sipping it honestly <sighs> mm. I think I could go with no with no straw. Okay. Because like for some reason I feel like with the straw, I'm not getting kind of like I'm like you know when you sip it, you can kind of feel the ice. It's so because it's so cold, but mm-hmm. you it's so cold, you can taste it, but you don't want to inhale it, so you take sips. I'm right there with, with you with the soda with the with the straw. I feel like I just devour it. Well, with the straw as well, you're getting the bottom. Exactly. I want I want the top. The cold, yep. the cold's at yes. the top. The bottom's getting cooled, but it's I not mean, cold. It, but it's still not the same. It's not the it. it the top's always going to be the best. It's right next to the ice. It's going to be the coldest. Now, mm-hmm. this is an interesting scientific question. What is the optimal ice to soda ratio? Now, I I think mm-hmm. people go overboard at restaurants. They fill up their whole cup with ice. No, no, you're no, paying you're paying for the soda optimize your soda don't fill it up that's so much volume do you understand is being lost a lot of volume is being lost so you have to kind of now what is it a third a half 
I go to either a third to half. I, don't I do, do a third. I don't. I don't. I don't do. I don't do a quarter or like you know some people only do like like the like let's say you know certain fast food cups have like that little bottom line kind of like because for those big cups you know mm-hmm. how they change the sizes mm-hmm. some people only do it to there I do it a little bit over that to halfway. Now I go third. I'm a light ice guy. If I have the option, mm-hmm. I'm going light ice because I know what they're doing. They're filling it up with ice so they get bigger margins in their profits with the soda, and I respect it. But I don't, mm-hmm. I don't jive with that. So I'm getting light mm-hmm. ice, and it's I'm already. Ice that if I, have too much, I'm I I will sue them. I am not <laughs> afraid to do it. But what I'll do is make sure it's light ice. Then what I like is when it's pre cold, which is almost every fountain. It's already cold, oh, so sure. it's, that's really nice, and it's like nice and chipper in the, like the back of the throat feeling <clears throat> so hurt it hurts so bad that like you just start dying yeah yeah when it burns the back of the throat you know it's good <laughs> when it burns a little you got a good good glass of coke oh for sure god we probably shouldn't be doing it now don't worry we are not a soda drinking podcast no 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 we, we are a be. we could be i could i could definitely make content around it but no we are Yes, that's right. A video game podcast. We come to you every single Friday asterisk when Alex's daughter is not feeling well. We'll hit you on a Saturday, okay? We'll hit you on a Saturday. Everything's going to be okay. We'll hit you on a Saturday instead. But you can, of course, hit us every Friday at Easy Achievers on YouTube or podcast service of your choice. Give us a like, comment, subscribe if you want to go the extra mile and help us financially to keep the lights on, the mics on, and Alex's dogs fed. Then you can of course head over to patreoncom Achievers. You can give us a dollar that gives you access to the monthly. That's right, monthly. Every single month you get an exclusive only you can hear on patreoncom Achievers. Of course, there's more tiers that you can then go through as well. If you are a current Patreon member, member. Use the private messaging service to get in contact directly to us to give your questions on the show. Alex, we got a light-ish news week. We had opening night live over the weekend. Were you able to catch it? Um, I got a little bit of it. I, I think I, I watched half of it. I didn't get. I didn't watch the ending half. It was so from like from Fall Guys and toward the end. I didn't watch the rest of that. I love Jeff Keighley, as you know. Yeah. Uh, he's a great, great host. He's really good with the Game Awards. He's mm-hmm. trying to facilitate an E3 this year. I will say I was a little disappointed this th- with this event. Now, I hear people saying, like, oh, my God, and like, do you not want to ex- it, it to exist? Because it would have just been a regular day without it. And, like, relax, mm-hmm. everyone. We can critique this stuff. So I, I, I did get disappointed because I did expect a little more. But I wouldn't say it was a waste of time. It was a little long. There was a lot of padding. And you can tell Jeff Keighley's making that mun with those commercials because, damn, were oh, there yeah. a lot of commercials. <laughs> but, oh, hey, sure. you got you to gotta hustle. You got to hustle. I respect it. But I, 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 I thought it was fine. We didn't do a reacts to most things because, be honest, there wasn't too much to actually do a reacts to. And I didn't find super interesting, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So we just kind of opted out and, and just watched it and we were going to report on it today. I would say the biggest deal was the, to, to me anyways, was the Destiny 2 look and Beyond Light, which wasn't much either. It was just kind of like a quick mm-hmm. like overview, and I was like, eh, I kind of wanted more out of that, but whatever. Yeah. Alex, I have a question yes. for you. Mm-hmm. One singular question I come with you every single week. We did the Mountain Thu thing, so I won't do that again. Alex, I have one question. Mm-hmm. What have you been playing? So... We've been playing a good bit of Destiny. A lot of Destiny. That, getting that armor uh, armor upgrade up. A lot of Solstice. Yes. That's a, an event happening right now. In the summer, it's known for Des- uh, Destiny 2 fans and must and know this. Summer is kind of like the dead months where not much content comes out. So they throw out the Solstice armor to kind of like pad in a few months to like you can work towards something and have fun. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm on Majestic right now, so... Yeah, I'm, we're almost done too. Like yeah. we got we got our little last little steps, and we're finished on the armor set, yep. which is I'll very definitely nice. Definitely play that tonight. Yes, um, but we also played it's, the new. Uh, it's been a while. It's we back. Played Fortnite. It's back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back on Fortnite, and by God, I have never. I'll say it again. Never been so excited to play Fortnite as I have been right now. I wish I could teleport ten weeks ahead. To get all the challenges done, I got Wolver- oh, I can get sure. Wolverine. I can be tier one hundred already. Like it's it's so it's bad. it's stressing me out. I can't already have them. 
because I know they're in the game, and it's basically them saying, I don't have them. Now, this yeah. battle pass, a little different than normal. Mm-hmm. And I want to get your opinion on it real quick, but first, I'll, I'll just in case everyone doesn't know, I'm sure everyone knows what Fortnite is, I'll quickly go over what the battle pass is. So it's a little different. It is fully schemed around Marvel. We got, what, Iron Man, She-Hulk, uh, I mean, it's a lot of people, Doctor Doom, I won't name them all here, but, but there's a lot of people in the battle pass. And you can earn the skin, and then in another few levels, you earn an awakening, which unlocks challenges to do to then make the skin do something cool. For instance, Thor, if you get Thor... You eventually unlock Mjolnir, and then you eventually unlock his awakening challenge that then awakens Thor into his, like, electrified state, mm. and he looks really cool, and you can use that in-game as an emote. Yeah, with, um, Wolverine, I know his claws come out and stuff like that. That's cool, and I saw that She-Hulk turns into She-Hulk. She starts as Jessica Walters, and then with the mm-hmm. emote, she uses the emote, turns into She-Hulk, so she's the She-Hulk for this game. So, stuff, little stuff like that's really cool. I want to mention, Alex, is do you like this kind of Inch, the like, approach that they took to the Marvel characters, and do you like that it's all Marvel, no Fortnite? And I would say that there's not much actual Fortnite here. It's basically all Marvel. I I don't mind it being all Marvel because it's it's definitely a taste changer. Because just 100%. Cause it, I mean, like I like last season, I didn't play. Re- I played one match at the beginning, and then one match at the end, just to <laughs> say I did. I did. Yeah. But like. I didn't. I I thought I was gonna love the season just because I mean, uh, or the um, I yeah when when I saw the whole shark thing and there was water everywhere, and I was like, oh, this looks cool, but I just fell out of it. I didn't even play last season, mm-hmm. but then I saw this and it just hyped me up. Yeah, same here. I uh, I have been falling out of Fortnite for a good while, but when this came out, I went. I am a hundred percent back in. I have already pre bought like certain tiers to make sure I get everybody. Um, there's rumors slash we know Black Panther is going to be here eventually. Uh, I believe I'm sure I, Silver Surfer, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Silver Surfer was also found in the data mine. I believe. I believe it's mm-hmm. Silver Surfer and Black Panther are two extras we're going to get, which mm-hmm. is dope. You're going to have Storm and Black Panther in this. That's amazing. Where is Spider Man? <sighs> I I assume Spider Man's like I don't know maybe he's in everything so they're like we can't put him in this too I don't know that's a good question though honestly I didn't even think about it but yeah the, the, you get in the weird like oh, where's Spider Man but it's like we've seen Spider Man so many things I don't mind it but I will of course take Spider Man oh for sure maybe some Venom action but then oh yeah. give me some Venom it's really cool though because they are working up this like Galactus is coming which for a comic book nerd like myself I'm very excited for Nexus War it says that's what it's called this season yeah Nexus War so they're prepping for for him to come and they're gonna fight him off like I'm really excited for this stuff and Mm. there's Iron Man of course and everything is so much fun I'm excited to actually get to it but Alex I know about Mm. Fortnite let's go to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War not super excited about the name but Mm -hmm. there we go now I'm sure everyone's heard Black Ops Cold War has been announced. I'm going to give a brief overview. Then I'm going to literally bitch for 20 minutes. Are you ready for that, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Let me, let me get myself prepared. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me sit down. Get ready. Get ready. Um, so let's get started. Now, let's go over just a brief thing and I'll condense it all at the end so there are three editions of call of duty black ops cold war standard 60 dollars across gen bundle for 70 dollars and the ultimate edition for 80 dollars all this comes out november 13th they released a small kind of teasery trailer showing like a brief over analysis of what the campaign is going to be about it's going to be about of course the cold war and around roughly the i think the 60s and 80s were shown which is very exciting Open beta will be coming soon. The full multiplayer reveal will be on September 9th. Uh, there's going to be there's a bunch of screenshots, by the way, if you want to look all this up. I found all these on Twitter. The campaign will consist of uh, a bunch of uh, sites. East Berlin, Vietnam, Turkey, and the Soviet KGB are just some of the events and <clears throat> things you will uh, experience. This, apparently, they're touting the next generation of COD multiplayer, which could mean literally anything. Zombies, of course, is coming back. This is a direct sequel to Black Ops, which is weird, but okay. So this is a direct sequel to the first Black Ops. Hudson, Woods, and Mason will come back, apparently. There is going to be a character creator with some options impacting gameplay. 
don't know what that means. Um, you'll be able to pick your gender. I, I saw this. You're picking, you can pick male, female, or classified for my non-binary fucks out there. More freedom during missions with extra missions and dialogue options. So this is everything I saw. This is everything kind of condensed from everything we've heard from PR and just general talk throughout the industry. I thought it was very interesting that we're getting extra missions in Camp Lee. This reminds me of, Alex, you're going to have to help me here, Advanced Warfare? Or was it Infinite Warfare? You remember, right? There was, like, extra side missions and quests that you could do. Um, Wasn't that Infinite Warfare? It had uh, my boy from Jon Snow in it. Isn't that the one where you oh, could, like, pick yes. missions? Yes, that's Infinite Snow. Yeah, that's Infinite Warfare. Also... Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Spacey was all Advanced Warfare. Yeah, and also... The thing that said, yeah, there's choices in the game apparently. So that reminds me of Black Ops Two, mm-hmm. which is which. Okay, so we're gonna have choices in the game. Now let's get confusing. <laughs> okay, now I hear you saying, okay, I'll buy Call of Duty on my Xbox. Let's say I want it for my Series X. So get ready for something I still don't fully mm. understand myself. All right, this is straight from Wario64. I feel like he summed it up pretty well. I'm going to read directly from his Twitter. This is getting confusing is what he starts off with. COD Black Ops Cold War PS4 Physical Edition can get upgraded to PS5 version via PSN. But Xbox One Physical will not have upgraded to Xbox Series X ps4 xbox versions will be playable through backwards compatibility what does that mean so what i'm guessing is playstation has a deal that the game can only be optimized on their system so if i'm on series x i will only be playing the xbox one version of call of duty cold war black ops cold war whatever anyways <laughs> for further confusion ps5 fiscal of call of call of duty cannot be played on ps4 <laughs> while the xbox series x can be played on both xbox one and xbox series x it's unclear if this is the xbox series enhanced version or just reposting the current version as playable on both consoles <laughs> alex oh. what is this it was it's so ridiculous i'm like like i was looking at this <laughs> and it's funny because i'm like looking at it and i'm like oh it's the it, there's a it says cross gen bundle i was like okay seven uh, 70 bucks i'm like okay and it was like if you, you buy this <laughs> You get it at, at no extra charge at launch. So it was like, if nobody reads that, then I'm like, oh, okay. I'm... Because we were going to be like, well, wait, what's the difference between the 60 and $70 version? You know, if that, I can just play my $60 version on my Series X. Of course. Now, what are you getting when you get the cross-gen version of, on the Xbox? Are you getting, like... A, a code i'm assuming uh, yeah no it's just a, it's a digital it's a digital copy so i'm assuming the cold war version of both of these games are somehow enhanced and they want you to buy the 70 dollar version so you get the enhancements on the next gen mm-hmm. is that what do you think that's what this is i i that's what i am i'm assuming that people are, that, you know, for seventy bucks you get the next gen version, and but you can still play it on your last gen. So uh, maybe it's so like, for example, like <laughs> or something. I don't know. I'm so fucking confused. I think I'm understanding. PS5 games will not work on PS4. Period. Yeah. S- Xbox games are Xbox games. That's mm-hmm. fine what (laughs) i'm assuming you're paying the extra 10 bucks to get an enhanced version on series x that's the only reason i assume you would buy that for place for playstation it looks like 
<laughs> it looks like you, regardless of which edition you buy, you can play it on your PS5, but if you get the cross-gen version, you will get the upgraded version for PS5. Huh? Alex, it's just that easy. It's just that easy. <laughs> it's, I uh, I wanted to bring this up as just like I am so tired of this already and I don't even have the system yet. Yep. This is insane. I hope this gets simpler. I I whatever. Moving on cuz I'm just going to complain about it for another f- 4 hours. Microsoft yeah, like, Just tell me if it's going to work or not. Do I need to pay $70? Do I need to pay $60? That's all I need to know. I don't need to know if it's backwards compatible or not. Just give me the fucking game. I'm I'm assuming you want $70 then. If that's what you I, want. If yeah, if if the games are going to be 70 bucks, then let it be so. And it looks like that's just an excuse to charge $70 and get people used to 70 bucks also, just as a side yeah. note cuz the games are going to be up to $70 next next year oh, or the sure. year after. So they're probably just yeah. like getting you used to it. Like, hey, this is 70 bucks. The next COD, it's just going to be 70 bucks though. <laughs> yeah. Microsoft brings back Halo Veteran to get the late game back on track. So apparently this was learned that they have brought on Joseph Staten, which has been a huge Halo player in a long time. He, um, I think better some other name. <laughs> yes, yeah, Joseph, Joseph Sten. He did a, a huge role in developing and writing the earliest Halo titles, apparently. So I believe he was in 1, 2, and 3, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. And they're moving him to 343 to try and help this game. Now, Alex. Help this game, meaning is not done? The, you're, I love that we're right there with each other. Alex, if he is coming on to help this game, and this game is supposed to come out in March, he can literally do nothing. There will be nothing he can do like there's not unless he's there for post-launch support that doesn't make any sense now if this is delayed to next year that means a lot more i'm assuming this tells me 100 percent, alex this game is coming out next year in november oh for sure that's what i'm thinking it's gonna be a whole year delay this is gonna we're not getting this game anywhere anytime soon now there you don't bring back that man (laughs) for like five months to to help like polish some stuff off this man's probably there for eight to nine months probably there for post-launch it's there's been a lot of drama it's been a lot of drama for the halo stuff i really hope they get it together Mm -hmm. i hope they figure out this contracting issue i don't know why there's 500 employees but we're still contracting people i under i don't (laughs) understand Hopefully they can figure it out. I really hope Halo comes back and be as Halo again. Because we haven't gotten, like, Halo really since Reach. Like, being a big deal. I would say Reach and Master Chief Collection. Those were, like, the last, like, big deal, like, Halo games. And, like, Halo 5, like, was in hype. But, like, I, I wonder hope... what, what they're talking about. Like, he tweeted out something afterwards also. And it says, in this week's, or, like, the Halo, it says, in this week's community update, we discuss Halo Infinite's news touch on ODST's flighting and outline Halo 5's calendar for September. So there's just going to be more shit for September. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I'm assuming they've... I mean, they've kept supporting 5 uh, I guess so. since the game has come out, which is... I, you know, I don't want to hate on my Halo 5 fans out there, but that's pretty surprising that they're still helping that game, which is good for people who play the game. I'm surprised yeah, I mean, they haven't yeah. moved most of the development onto Infinite, which they probably have. Now the games just be, they've already been trashed, like, sooner. Well, apparently, 5, and I want to replay it, because I feel like I've tainted my own memories of 5, but I want to replay it. The story again. <laughs> I want to replay the story to remind myself, and make sure I'm not, like, lying to myself that it was, like, worse than it was. I don't know. I just I, I don't I don't remember it, but I I what I remember I felt like it was it's not it was it wasn't capturing. It was like well, it was a little bored. Well, the whole reason, well, one of the huge reasons is we don't remember the game, right? Like that's a big oh, yeah. deal. I remember a lot of Halo Three. Why can't I oh, remember sure. a single thing from Halo Five? I remember the ending. I remember that. That's about it. Yeah, you remember, you talking about like all the machines coming up? Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, and she's getting really upset. Cortana got yeah, really mad at us. <laughs> yep, I remember fighting the fighting that. Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of four. Yeah, you're thinking yes, of four. I'm, I'm thinking of four when you fight that dude on that bridge. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's four. That's the end of four. Oh, see, now I'm thinking of four. <laughs> Alex, are you excited for a new Nintendo Switch? 
You get a little bit. Okay, that's good then, because Nintendo's making one. Uh, this is over <laughs> several reports, so I'm betting this is real. There mm. apparently Nintendo is making a brand new Switch model. Uh, people have named it the Switch Pro. We of course don't know the actual name, but mm. s- multiple multiple reports have said that there is going to be uh, production starting in a few months, and we will be seeing this in a launch plan for Q1 of next year. So we will be getting a new year, and the claims are saying it's going to be 4K, which is very surprising to me. That's crazy. That's very Nothing surprising. Like that. I see now. What I'm thinking is. It's going to be not handheld. It's going to be a specifically stationary system. Oh, really? What do you think? I think if it's 4K, can you really put that on a like a screen? I mean, some phones are not even 4K. That's why it's so crazy to to say. Like, if it's still going to be handheld, like I'm surprised. Like, I don't know. It's just crazy to me. I, I hope that it's still portable because that'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, of course that would be awesome. I, I, know, I like that's a lot of that's a lot of graphics compact in one little screen. What would you prefer, Alex? A standalone system that produces 4K content or a brand new hub that turns your Switch to 4K when you plug it to a TV? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. You there, bud? There we go. There we go. We got it fixed. Now, that was a small hiccup on my end. We, um... Uh, are gonna not restart we're fine everything's fine i got everything duct taped together we're going to just keep the obs recording and we're just gonna let this zencaster go fuck itself okay alex how's that sound okay okay so obs is still going live everything's fine it's very clear ladies and gentlemen that everything is stuck with duct tape here all right but so the i don't know a if you were able to hear what I said, no, <laughs> I didn't I, hear what you said. No, I, out. no, I did not. So I'm gonna finish my my thought with you, and then you can give okay. me your answer. What would you prefer? Would you prefer a hand a a stationary 4K like Nintendo Switch that mm-hmm. is just a console, or would you prefer a hub that you plug your Switch into to to turn the Switch into a 4K device to your TV? Hmm. I mean, when the Switch came out, I used it a lot portably, but for some reason, just lately, I haven't. I think it's because there's just not that many games out right now for it. Right. Um, right now, I would say I would want it stationary, but if they're later on in the case where like there is more games that I may be playing it more, I, I am going to want it um, portable. I'm just wondering how they're gonna pack so much graphics into that little tiny screen if it is 4K. Yeah, I don't. I don't. That's why I highly a lot doubt. Of don't even do 4K. Yeah, I highly doubt it's gonna be a 4K handheld, and if it is, it's gonna be what seven hundred dollars maybe. Like, like to really get a 4K device. Mm, not for not for a handheld. Really, you would think like to get an actual 4K? By the way, I don't. I think I. I've looked this up one I mean, the time. Switch, the regular Switch was what three hundred, right? Yes. I wouldn't say more than five. Not I don't for a handheld system. Well, I think we're misconstruing each other. So what I'm saying is, to make a screen on a handheld 4K, which I, I don't even know if that's technically like a thing. Like, can conf- mm. like the term 4K doesn't that isn't that like pixel base? I would assume so. So like, I don't think you can fit that many. Can you fit them? Maybe? I'm so ignorant on this. I'd have to look this up. Well, I, I, yeah, I assume you can because certain, some phones do do 4K. But I just don't know. Isn't there like one? Isn't the, isn't, I, is, I think it's a Sony phone, right? That's like I true 4K really. or something? Let I don't know. See. If you know, please tweet at me. <laughs> I'm very confused how a 4K handheld would work because it doesn't 4K mean like it was it was four times the pixels of a 1080 screen, right? So that would be like... 
I don't remember. Um, I'm again. I I'm yeah, ignorant when it comes to actual um, details. The Xperia XZ Premium's five and a half inch display is the first smartphone screen to support both 4K and HDR tech. Other phones have had one on the other, but don't have both. The 4K support, yeah. So some phones have had one or the other, but that phone has had both. Interesting. Okay. So it is possible then. Yes, it is possible. Now those are phones, though. The phones are very much more expensive than a system. Yeah. So can you get a 4K screen cheap enough to be able to sell it to like a mass market? I don't know because the screen has to be pretty big and that's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I would love that, but I don't know if that would work. I don't know. I mean, I, I honestly, at the, at, the, at the end, I think I would just stick for it to be a console, uh, not portable, just so I, I, I feel like I get more out of it from, with my TV. And, of course. And, and price-wise. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would hope for a hub. Yeah, exactly. Because, again, I don't think the handheld thing is that or feasible for them. It's going to have, like, an adapter to make it, it'll, like, once you hub it into it, it'll it'll change to 4K. Right. And maybe, like, the screen, the, the, the highest the screen could go in the in the portable would be 1080. Now, let's say they make this 4K portable thing you want. How much yeah. are you willing to spend for that? Mm. Uh, I, like I said, dude, I don't think I'm gonna go over five. Okay. If it's five, I feel like I mean, that's, that's reasonable. Much, I feel like that's is. I mean, I'm just buying an, uh, another Xbox. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, you for sure are. You for sure are. <laughs> yeah. So there's, at that point, I'm just like, what do you even worry about it? Yeah. I'm. I. It's one of those things where if I needed a Switch, I would probably buy the new one, but I wouldn't buy it for no reason. Yeah. So I. I, I don't. I don't. I wouldn't see myself buy this at launch unless like something really in at, like in tantalizing is on it like for instance if i can only play breath of the wild 2 on it i'd be like mm-hmm. eh, i kind of gotta get the new one because they've done that before with the new 3ds model there weren't that many different games but there were a handful mm-hmm. of games that can only play on the new 3ds models that they made yeah. you know now that i think about it i th- i think i would prefer the console one and if that, the highest that i feel like a portable one should even go would be 1080 i don't i don't believe they should even put it to 4k yeah, I, it, it gets weird it's when you're just, talking about handhelds well, that, too, right? It's just it's handheld because it's so small. It's I feel like it's just be. I mean, it looks good already just at 720. So mm-hmm. I mean, just uh, or nine or nine something, whatever it is. I can't remember. I think it's when it's ported, it's like nine something. Yeah, when it's yeah when it's ported, it goes up to 1080. When you're holding it, it's 720. Uh, yeah, so like imagine when it's ported. I mean, how good it looks there. Just bring that to the portable, and I'd be fine with that. I don't need 4K on portable. It's I feel like that's just too much mm-hmm. eye strain yeah well switch is really good with like with their art style that they've picked like that like like i wouldn't say that their art style all looks the same but they are very similar with like we figured out a color palette and like we we're like gonna do that from now on yeah each system you can tell that they have their own palettes like you know you can tell a playstation game from a playstation game you can tell an xbox game from that and switch game from that yeah all right now, so let's move on to what I've been fantasizing since I have seen it every day of my waking life. Okay. Gotham Knights, we've gotten some additional details. I'm going to go over okay. here, and then I'm going to see if I can find some more, because I know there was an article brought up, and I want to see if I can read a couple more. So, okay. Gotham Knights is a self-contained story, right? Not mm-hmm. games as a service. So, it is not meant to be a destiny. It is not meant to be a Fortnite or anything like that it's not it's not meant to be a ongoing completely game can be played solo offline which i thought was very interesting oh wow that's crazy that is insane i did not think i just assumed it, it can be but you can play it offline if you want to there's going to be a full open world with quote no level gating whatsoever end quote what does that mean level gating means if i if i am level five i can mm. go and do any mission i would like there's no level gating. There won't be a level level that's level ten, and I can't play it. So, for oh. instance, if there's a, a Doctor Freeze story or a, or a Penguin story, those will always be level five for me unless I level up. Gotcha. So I'm I'm assuming everything is just going to scale to your level over and over again, which could be yeah. argued isn't as fun as the other way. But I kind of am fine with this because that means you could just kind of do whatever you want rather than have yeah. to follow a very specific path. Um, gear, of course, includes melee, ranged weapons, and uh, optional suits. Uh, s- this is a start of a new franchise not related to Arkham. Now, I, I feel like most people kind of figured that out, but 
There, there it is. This is not in any way related to Arkham, of course. Um, um, breaking news right now. I oh, just, it, it's 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 sad news. Oh no, oh, um, no, no, I won't get excited then. T'Challa's uh, actor Chadwick has just died. Whoa. Yeah, oh. Chadwick Boseman has died at the age of forty-three after the Battle of Colon Cancer. Oh no! Well, yeah. of course. Brother, what, Wakanda forever, man. Of course, hearts go out to him. Oh my God, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, my wife just sent me that, and I was like, I have to say that. Holy! Oh you my were just God! About Black Panther on Fortnite, and I, I just saw that. That is heartbreaking. Oh, Damn. that was—he was a phenomenal actor. That is a shame. Oh, for sure. I, I, just, l- I don't know what's gonna happen with Black Panther two if that's even a thing. Well, I mean, I believe they started filming. I assume that's over now, but that's that sucks. I, I'm gonna miss yeah. him. Very yeah, talented crazy. man. Oh God. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That, so, that caught me off guard. For, yeah, sorry, no, 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 no. Sad news. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. That that's at least people listening at least know just in case they miss it. Yeah. Jesus, that's gonna suck. I'm gonna watch Black Panther just to remind Ooh, myself. Man, looks 43. Hey, he looks great. Really? Like he looked great, man. I wish I. I hope I look. I, I wish I look good that now. I'm 24. Yeah, yeah, I don't look that good now. <laughs> I really thought he was in his early 30s or something. Yeah. I, God, that's that's. My our hearts, of course, go out to the family of yeah. of Mr. Bozeman. Ho- hopefully, hopefully he was able to say his goodbyes. Um, yeah. Oh God! Mo- uh, moving back to this, uh, We're on the last on the last ping. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's a little bit more. You can choose to play as one character the entire game, which I did not think was possible. So oh, that's cool. You can play as one character if you'd like. Mister Freeze is just one of the villain quest lines, of course. Character mm. builds vary widely depending on how you spec your knight. Combat will, of course, feel familiar to Arkham players, but there are going to be new things. I assume like ults and things like that. Mm um there yeah like we said no other will so it, start, it, it says it's start of a new franchise that, that's exciting to me not related to the arkham yeah 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 i i said that alex oh, um my bad how dare you <laughs> well, um, i was re- rethinking of it to myself it's i know start of a new start of a new franchise meaning more than one i mean yeah you how I, would you well this i guess i don't know or well, not, prequel i'm sorry sequel it yeah, no, you would always, I mean, you always hope there's more. If it crash and burns, they won't make more, but, you know, you yeah. assume, you, I assume this will do well. What, the, I think this is interesting. So what do enemy levels mean to the player? By the way, this is all by IGN. They did a fantastic interview. Go give them a click. This is uh, Patrick Redding saying this, quote, It's true that as you're getting more powerful in your progression, you're going to see a sliding scale in terms of not just the level of the enemies but even some of the types of enemies that you're going to be coming up against but it's not a grind it's not a situation where you'll say oh god i have to go grind this type of mission in order to level up to this and then i can get this end quote quote it's really that when you encounter open world crime activities and other activities that involve ai you're going to see a range right you might see gay guys that are a little bit weaker than you and guys that are a little bit stronger than you and how you approach each of these situations it presents you with some choices that you're going to have to make like is this situation where i'm going to maybe swap out a piece of gear because i think i'm going to handle it better this way do i want to take a more stealthy approach all of these are options that are available to the player and the level of your enemy is just one factor in deciding that it's a very interesting way of thinking of leveling in this game alex that that that, that it's always a dynamic thing in certain areas if Mm. there might be a in this in this room a, a level 12 guy and you're level 10 so you don't really want to fight him head on you might want to weak him a little for for actually fighting him i, I think that's a a fresh way of looking at something as simple as levels in this game it's very exciting yes yes i'm very excited for this game i, I honestly i don't know who i'm going to play as i still don't either if i'm being perfectly honest with you alex i'm leaning towards batgirl and it's crazy because I want to play as all of them. I do too. This is now, I believe, and if I'm thinking correctly, this is kind of the first game I've ever literally sat down and said I genuinely want to be each character, and it sucks. Mm-hmm. It, it sucks like not knowing like oh, who do I actually want to be, and I, I'm having trouble figuring it out. I think I, I want to be Batgirl, maybe some Nightwing, but Red Hood it. looks very tempting. 
as long as you changing characters is not immersion breaking, then I'm fine. Mm, what do you mean by that, Alex? I, I want to. Uh, what do you mean? So, like for example, like if the story itself, mm. like you know, let's say, you, let's say, let's say, if you play as Batgirl, okay, um, you know, and you, like as the story goes, you know, I'm wondering how if if they make it to where it's you you feel like they're. Uh, well, how is how can I put this? It, it makes it feel like let's say it's Batgirl's story, not everybody's. Ah, so let's I say see. it's Batgirl's story, but you can play as everybody. I don't want to be Robin and then break the immersion and be like, oh, but this is supposed to be Batgirl's story. You I know? I got you. I don't know how which how they're gonna do it. So I'm mm. I'm just hoping that it's not like I said immersion breaking to where like or let's say maybe like each person I can I'll give them their like. Like Mr. Freeze, I'll make that Batgirls, and then let's say there's somebody else, I'll make Robin's that enemy story quest. That's just cool. So it doesn't break it. Yeah, that's cool because you, and maybe you, uh, oh, see, I I love doing this stuff because like maybe you play half of it as Batgirl and like, and you as. Because, you know, I love making stories in my head like, oh, Batgirl yeah. can't do this part, so I got to call in Red Hood or something. That's like, why I, like, I was thinking. You can always have, like, little fun spats in your head with stuff like mm-hmm. that. You're a little head cannon that's working. I do so that all the time. Yeah, I feel like if I was, let's say, a death stroke was coming, I'd use Red, uh, or I would use Red Hood because mm-hmm. they're so similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they know each other. Yeah, no. Yeah, you could. there's so many different ways you could do it. It's so fun. Yeah. It's, I'm so – I I'm really think, Alex – this is my most anticipate, anticipated game, period. Oh, Out of wow. everything we know and everything that I you know, then there's some things that's not confirmed that we can assume come out, like including everything. I think this is my most anticipated game. More than Suicide Squad? I Yeah, I think so. Yeah, more than Suicide Squad. Mm-hmm. Only because we I don't really know what Suicide Squad is, if I'm being perfectly honest. That's true, that's true. Like, I know it's a, probably a four-player co-op Yeah, and we did get for this. Yeah, and, we, and I saw gameplay of that. It's a CGI, which I don't mind, of course. It comes out in two years. But mm-hmm. like it's it's one of those things where I don't really know much about the game. If I if I saw gameplay and it was more like Sunset Overdrive, I probably would have those two switch. But th- this one looks phenomenal. I'm really excited, mm-hmm. Alex. Now it's the it's it's a day of the week, so someone's angry about something, and we're gonna bring up something being angry about something. Marvel's oh. Avengers has a paid battle pass for each superhero after launch. What? So a lot of people got very upset at this, and I I do th- and I don't want to call people out, okay? And it's and I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like a lot of people read the headline, did not actually read, did not actually read what was the, what was actually happening. So I'm gonna read some directly from the article, and then I'm okay. going to tell you basically break down what it is. So. This is a, the, a new blog post came out in the game. The game comes out in a few days, so they gave you a, basically everything you need to know about Marvel's Avengers that comes out the first if you bought the, the, the deluxe edition. Oh, God, I forgot that's coming out soon. Yep, it comes out the first if you get the deluxe. If not, it comes yeah. out the fourth. So, mm. it is stated that six superheroes are arriving in the base game, of course. We know those six superheroes. Now, all of them have what's called hero challenge cards which you could easily say are battle passes those are unlocked as part of buying the game you have those unlocked you do not buy those with any money they are already unlocked now starting with hawkeye which he will come out somewhere between now and the end of the year you will have he will be a free character you 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 grab but his battle pass his way of getting cosmetics will be ten dollars of real money. Ten dollars of real money, a thousand credits is how much an actual battle, quote unquote, battle pass hero okay. challenge card will cost for Hawkeye. So again, Hawkeye, the character, is free. You will have to pay ten dollars for the battle pass for Hawkeye. Gotcha. So mm-hmm. for example, so let's say because you know how PlayStation is getting Spider Man. Of course. Since that's a since that's a PlayStation only, like is that gonna be the same way with him? So the, the character's free, but you're gonna have to pay for his battle pass too. That's a great question. I don't believe. I'm a, I'm a quickly glance at their blog post. I don't believe they brought up Spider Man, but I'm they, going. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what I'm going to say is, I assume you will have to at least buy the battle pass. I wouldn't be surprised if PlayStation. Like, have a special deal that's like, no, we won't make them pay for it. Like, they just get the battle pass for free. No, yeah. 
For what I'm glancing at, the blog post does not bring up Spider-Man at all for obvious reasons. They probably don't want to be ripped apart again. Mm-hmm. So it does not look like they specifically say Spider-Man gets a free battle pass, which I doubt. I assume that's going to be 10 bucks like everything else. Yeah. Alex. I, of course, was very mean at the beginning of this, but does this upset you? Are you like, oh, that sucks. I was hoping I would get the cosmetics for free or maybe there was a different way of earning them because it seems like the only way you can earn them is by purchasing the battle pass um i can see for the people who would be because i don't think i mind because i'm i don't care for hawkeye too much i'm not gonna lie right but let's say but, it's your favorite marvel let's character say, yeah, let's say it's my, my, yeah then i mean i i yeah um yeah i i guess i would be because i'm like well you know you're just it, it's it's like the whole ish thing like with deal like you know with games coming out and then dlc comes out for later and people are upset because they're like oh well i'm not paying for a full game i'm just paying i'm paying for a partial game i, I feel like people are gonna make it talk I, I feel like people are gonna bring that up be like oh you're it's a partial game you're not letting me unlock everything for that character I I feel like this is a mute point because the character is free. And see, that's my other issue. Like the game, I mean, you get the free character, so like, I mean, so there's like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are. I'm. I don't think I'm too upset. I I, I understand. So like, I would pay the ten dollars if I really wanted to. I will probably literally buy every single battle pass for every character because I'm an idiot. <laughs> now. I do not have an issue again because it is free. I have the option, and they're only cosmetical based. There is, yeah, so there is. Like I can still use the character. But yeah, it doesn't mean I need to have every cosmetic item for that character. Yeah, and there's a there's a free progression pass too, just like like Fortnite, for instance. Yeah. Like you can unlock free things. It's just nowhere near as cool as the other stuff. Like always, mm-hmm. it's not as cool as the the. So I just saw a lot of people upset, and I, I just feel like like if it's no different from. Every every time a new Apex season comes out, you have to buy the battle pass for that. Mm. Like I, I really don't see the difference. And hey, if if you're listening and you disagree, please write in patreoncom achievers or just tweet at us and say my opinions are dumb. I won't take it personally. Or will I, Jim? Just trying to grab Jim off guard there. Okay, Alex. I don't know if you know what this game is, and I don't know if you care. I definitely don't, but I know someone does, and we're an Xbox centric podcast, so I wanted to bring it up. Mm-hmm. the initiative reportedly is working on something perfect dark now a lot of people are getting this misconstrued because the gentleman who quote unquote leaked this wasn't super clear on what it was actually was so the initiative which is the of course microsoft owned studio that they opened to make quadruple a games you know giant god war like games is making something perfect dark related either in the universe or something very similar to a perfect dark game now this gentleman is called uh, Jeff Grubb. He's a well-known insider on IGN. He's everywhere. He always talks. Um, he, he's very... I mean, we've read his articles all the time on IGN. He's he's a very smart man. He said in a... <laughs> it's funny because me and Alex watch Kind of Funny. So it was, mm-hmm. it was in a recent Twitch stream for Kind of Funny Games Daily, which is a daily show they do. The podcast home happened to talk about the initiative which lets Grub sounding off in the chat saying that the studio is working on is related to Perfect Dark. He then claimed that this new installment will be the third person variety rather than first person. And he followed up messages on Twitter. Grub said he's not sure if the game will be directly be called Perfect Dark, but it will seemingly take place within that world. Someone, of course, tweeted at him and said, Did you, wait, do you confirm this? Jeff Grubb then says, Confirm is a loaded term. I said it. As who, uh, Rand all Thor, <laughs> right? I'm sorry, I couldn't say that without laughing. Points out it might not be exactly Perfect Dark, but it's playing in that universe. So if any Perfect Dark fans are out there, there you go. Jeff Jeff Grubb <laughs> is out there making sure you know Perfect Dark exists. Alex, something exists. Do you know that at all? Are you are familiar? Do you like that game? I've never been in the Perfect Dark universe. I played one of them. I think it was Perfect Dark Zero, and I played it because I had the demo for it. On I the think Xbox that was the bad one. Magazine. Is that the one no one liked? I don't um, know. 
I, I think no one liked that. I'm not sure. Again, write in if I'm wrong. I, don't know. I have no idea, but I, I honestly don't know if they were rated good, if they were rated bad. I have no idea to be. I have nothing to do with these games. I think it's like a cult classic, like Suikoden is to me. Where like I'm yeah. the I, there's one guy that's super into it, and everyone else is like, oh, I remember that. Yeah, this guy Spencer CS. He's he's excited for it. He's, he's, he's like, so excited. He's ready for Perfect Dark. Oh, for sure, dude. He's ready for Perfect Dark. Enough about Perfect Dark, because we can only talk about Dark for so long, because we're Kingdom Hearts fans. Yeah, it's an okay show. <laughs> this is over on Engadget. Nick Summers writes this. Oculus community hates Facebook login policy switch. Now, if you really, if you really want to make some people upset, make them sign in on a separate service that they don't want. So apparently, this is uh, announced by Facebook. Facebook announced that Oculus headsets will soon require a Facebook account to use. The policy change comes into effect from October 1st for Rift and Quest newcomers. It will also be mandatory for every headset that Oculus releases in the future. If you already own a Rift or Quest and want to keep using an Oculus account, it'll work. And chill June 1st, 2023. Full functionality will require a Facebook account, though. It is possible that you'll lose access to some VR games and applications over time. What? If you do not sign up for it, Alex, you will possibly lose games and applications over time. The announcement came out of nowhere, and Oculus users were immediately angry and disappointed. These are some explanities, just in case you have a small child with you. Quote, what the fuck? End quote. Judge. Oh, oh come on, guys. Okay, here. here judge you got this? Will make Okay, here, I'm going to try. Will Micken Registrant Trin. I don't know. Will Mitcherson. Will Mitcherson wrote. We'll try that. Uh, yeah, let's go to that. Wrote, Will, quote, Will wrote, quote, fuck you. And quote, <laughs> Michael Edwards added. Yeah, that's going to be a no go for me, another Facebook user added. Many users feel betrayed once Oculus startup founded by Palmer Lucky. Brendan Erb, Michael Antov, and Nate Mitchell in 2012 following a widely successful Kickstarter campaign. The company was acquired by Facebook for, guys get ready for this, 2.3 bubba billion for the B in 2014. Some people were understanding wary given that Facebook's empire is built on data-driven advertising. Ding, ding, ding. Lucky, lucky, assured skeptics on Reddit, however, that Oculus hardware wouldn't require a Facebook login. In a separate comment, he promised that Oculus won't, quote, track you, flash ads at you, or do anything invasive, end quote. Oh, well, you really, you really, you really shit the bed on that one, Lucky. I'm sorry. That is completely wrong now. Lucky left Facebook in 2070. He said, he bounced. He knew what was coming. He's like, oh, they're going to be mad at me. And he bounced out. And was subsequently created a, quote, virtual border wall, end quote, company called And Andoril, which mm -hmm. signed a contract with U.S. Customs and Border Protection earlier this year. He's no longer associated with Oculus, but responded to accusations yesterday that he was lying in 2014. Quote, I want to make clear that those promises were approved by Facebook in that moment and on an ongoing basis and i really believe that it would continue to be the case for a variety of reasons end quote my friend no you did not <laughs> he wrote on the r oculus subreddit quote in hindsight the downvotes from people with more reward experience than me were definitely justified end quote <laughs> okay so he at least admits that there was a mix-up oh i think i lost alex for a second there but that is hilarious ladies and gentlemen this man this man really thought that he was <laughs> excuse me i called this from a mile away and i and that was what was that 2013 i believe right is when this was bought 2014 they were bought in 2014 by facebook i immediately went all right there 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 it goes there it goes that is saddening to hear i'm sure every oculus fan is very upset i would be too i very much would be too I would I would hate the fact of learning like hey this we're never gonna invade your privacy and then after a while I was like hey we're just gonna make you make a Facebook account now also that five hundred dollar VR headset it's not really gonna work in a few years if you don't follow by the Facebook rules sorry and there's also no way around it my ban like that's shitty and you should at least keep the service going for people who have already been there before. That's just crazy. Like, why can't you just use a regular, like, just make an Oculus account? Yeah, I. It's cl it's clear that they're they that that because Lucky's gone, 
Like he was, he was the probably the last guy that was from the original Oculus team. He's gone. Once he's gone, they're like, all right, we could eat this alive. It's now us. Like he got his money, he bounced. Which hey, I can't, I can't pretend like I wouldn't have done the same thing. So I like how this guy was like, I would not. Our company will buy, not buy another Oculus product. Sure, buddy. <laughs> he said I absolutely would not force my staff to Facebook accounts to do client work. It's so funny because. I, my favorite it's almost like a, a a perfectly timed joke where it's like he he said no you'll never be able to to have it it's like yeah never say never buddy it's facebook they don't care once you're gone brother you're gone i can't it's it's it, it's a shame and i feel bad for people who have oculus and didn't really want to do this mm-hmm. but it's it's the reality now i i apologize for anyone who's gotten in it's like well that sucks but it, 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 that's all we can really say yeah that sucks i mean and okay and i do get like it's annoying because you like they, they're making you make an account but you don't have to use the account either yeah but the most but, of, most of people's problem is facebook is very invasive with your data they're very well, you don't have to make your real data you no know? No, 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 yeah. Oh, of course, you can't make dummy accounts to do this stuff. Yeah, it it I just... Mean, I, mean that I made a dummy account before just so I can play certain games on my phone because I had to save it. Mm-hmm. I needed a Facebook account, so yeah. I made it a dummy account. How gross is that, I... by the way? How gross is that? Mm-hmm. Hey, to save the game, you gotta have a Facebook account. Oh. Like, what? Why? <laughs> it's just silly. It's, it's silly, but it's clear what they're doing here. They're they they're wanting to integrate everything into one thing which i can't necessarily blame them from a business standpoint but from a consumer standpoint your your name is in the shitter to for lack of a better word like no one likes you right now like it's very hard to like facebook i don't think there's a lot of people waving the facebook flag out there now to be fair it is the most popular social network anything period so i can't pretend like it's not popular but you are not in the zeitgeist of being very nice with people's data Mr. Zuckerberg. Side note, have you seen that man try to drink water? No. He drinks it like a fucking like a robot, bro. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. Let's see if you can see if you can look at it right now. See if you can find that. Do yourself yeah. Yeah, I, we're going to watch this live right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. I'm going to do Mark Zuckerberg. So yeah, just YouTube, yeah. Why is smoking meat the first one? I don't I don't I'm not clicking that. All right. <laughs> he look, water, water. He just just look just just i'm gonna see it's the first one hold on let me uh sorry if you heard that ladies and gentlemen let me mute or this is it mouse upper, hey, do mouse the first do the do the first one do the first one why does he drink water like ladies and gentlemen look up water mark is over drink water why does he drink water like this what is going on why is he pretending to drink it <laughs> it like barely touches up he looks like a robot and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I can make fun of him. He's much richer than I am, okay? Like, it's like touching his lips. You're seeing this, right, Alex? It's like, you're talking about him slowly drinking it? He's barely, t- look, look at this. This is not how a human drinks water. Like, he's barely, he's like just it's, like sipping it. It's like touching his lips. It's creepy. Well, Are you well, not disturbed right now? Well, I have a... I think it, he's barely drinking it because in the Senate <laughs> hearing, aren't you there for hours? He's trying to make it last, I'm sure. I, all right. I don't think there's a finite amount of water, though. I, I think he's – look, I'm obviously playing a joke here, right? That I'm, I'm, he, like, barely I'm, drank it. He tipped it. it I, what I'm saying, I am, of course, being hyperbolic. It is to make fun of him. But, yes, it is not actually weird, but – are you kidding me? Like, look at this man. Why is he? It looks like well, the water is foreign to him, and he's making sure it's not poisonous. Like, what, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what is going on with this? It's just creepy. It, it, really, take a second. Look at what. what just watch drinks of water. It's so weird. Oh my god, Alex. Hmm. Really quickly, I'm gonna go. I don't. I. What do you do? You want to go over the control thing? You want to skip it? Uh... Or you want to go that over is, it? That is up to you. I will really quickly go over this. This is the similar thing with Call of Duty where it's just like, whatever. So, <sighs> Control, of course, a few weeks ago had that huge fight with 
you can you will get an upgraded version of control if you buy the ultimate edition now you will get a playstation 5 xbox series x version of control control is now playable with backwards compatibility once the systems come out but you will not get i guess enhancements of some kind or something so let's try to go over this really quickly will i be able to purchase control based game on playstation 5 xbox series x without the additional content this is on control's website no the only version of control available on playstation 5 and xbox series x will be control ultimate edition weird but i'm, I'm assuming that's like a port however if you have the control based game the expansion packs or the season pass on playstation 4 xbox one in your collection you will still be able to play a hundred percent of your game and enjoy an enhanced experience through backwards compatibility what does this mean this <laughs> exactly does this mean the season pass won't be available to purchase separately on ps5 series x correct all content feature will be available as part of the control ultimate edition the original base game expansion packs and season pass will not be sold separately i own control base game and season pass is this not the same as the control ultimate edition the objective of control ultimate edition was not to release new exclusive content on next gen platforms but to offer the full control gameplay experience to new control players in a single easy to find product ps5 series x versions of control contain the same content as the current gen game though they do take full advantage of power and features is control backwards compatible with ps5 series x absolutely owners of the original edition of control on ps4 xbox one can enjoy backwards compatibility when next gen system launches what is the difference so am i so is, is it it says it's enhanced through backwards compatibility but it says the game we're getting is also enhanced so is the other one enhanced more so it's not it's not enhanced it's like upgrade upgrade type of shit so like what it, so the enhanced one yeah it's probably, it just probably like look it maybe looks a little better or runs a little better the new ultimate edition is probably a full-fledged uh 60 frames and like you know like i don't know i don't know what the hell the difference is <laughs> i love that halfway through you gave up like fuck i don't know all right <laughs> i don't know why are you grilling me huh <laughs> it's the same shit <laughs> I, is it the same thing <laughs> what is happening alex <laughs> it's a meaning backwards compatibility uh or it's a, with enhancements there is no enhancements. You're going to just be able to play the game. That's the only way I can think of. Why would they use the word enhanced on the backwards compatibility version? <laughs> like, why, why would they why say would, that? Why would they make you buy this shit? <laughs> what is happening? I'm losing Alex. Every day I read stuff like this, I die a little more. I'm slowly losing my mind. Eventually, I'm just going to be backwards compatibility, smart delivery. I, it's just I'm going to burn it all down. At this point, when I get that damn system, I'm just gonna get, rip out the damn. <laughs> of the shit. I'm gonna break it in half. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not gonna play anything until there's a new, brand new game that's only exclusive to the new system. Uh, I can't wait to. Be, I can't wait for this to be over. I really can't. All right. Watch it. Watch it, watch it when the Sims thing comes out, and none of this that they're saying work that works will, will work. It's just. It's one of those things where it's like. I don't even I don't even think you understand what you're talking about. <laughs> like if I'm being perfectly honest, like they like it feels like they contradicted themselves halfway through. Moving on cuz I will literally bitch about this for hours. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was listed on several outlets for some reason, so we're assuming it's real. Most likely we're getting a Switch port. Yay. I don't Alex, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I mean, if anything, give me the uh, Wind Waker. Look, you didn't play Wind Waker on the Wii U, okay? Don't don't pretend like you're here for this. I played that bitch on the game. <laughs> I didn't play it on the Wii U. I just didn't finish it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to get under his skin. I don't care what he played. What, what's uh, I will say, someone ma triggered me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will say that someone. <laughs> I just. Uh... I just love it because it takes a lot to figure you. And when you say somebody triggered me, and I'm like, oh, okay. 
Alex, you know me so well because you you know me just saying that is a joke. <laughs> so what they did was they took a video of the Wii U shop and they <laughs> typed in Zelda and they showed every single Zelda game that was available on the Wii U. Alex, not a single motherfucking one is on the Switch. Link to the past. All of these. Like, why are none of... Like, what is happening over there at Nintendo, okay? Start porting your games, okay? This year was, like, super disappointing for Switch owners, I would say, right? You got fucking Animal Crossing. If you don't like Animal Crossing, well, fuck you, okay? <laughs> like, that's what it feels like, right? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and also, like, then you're like, oh, you can have Pikmin 3. Get the hell out like, of what is happening? Just, like, port over... Mario already, okay? Give Alex sunshine. <laughs> Alex, uh, I'm having a great show. <laughs> oh my god, look, going over to date updates, we're going with a hot one. Death Loop is delayed to Q2 2021. This of is <laughs> Of course it is. Why not? This is Arcane Leon. They this is a long statement. Basically, it's delayed. They're sorry. They apologize. We share your disappointment. All that fucking thing they say every time they delay something. Moving on. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Shocking. Delayed as well. This is over to 2021. <laughs> I hope you weren't excited for that. Sorry. There's also new gameplay if you want to see that. It looks really cool. I get to play as General Grievous. I get to be Yaddle. Woohoo! Oh, Yato! Moving on. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. This is, of course, the Melody. new King... <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> this is Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. This is, of course, if Guitar Hero made love with a Kingdom Hearts game. Boom. This is now Guitar Hero Melody of Memory. This is a... You get to, I guess, listen to every Kingdom Hearts song, and you hit corresponding buttons like Guitar Hero on your controller. Yeah. And, and the most weirdest thing about this game, that's not that it's a rhythm game, it's that it has to do with Kyrie. Like <laughs> it does. Game. It does. It's not Kingdom Hearts. It's not a Kingdom Hearts side game unless it has very critical lore. <laughs> like, like, like every, like, there's never been a Kingdom Hearts game that was made for no reason. Like, there's always crucial lore in every game. Ugh. This game will, of course, release November 13th, which was announced in the Nintendo Indie World Showcase. It's not an indie, so very shocking it was on there. Um, <laughs> Nintendo... They had no worlds to show I, the time. I guess so. PlayStation 4, Xbox One's fans can pre-purchase a digital edition of the game on those platforms now or pre-order a physical copy. PlayStation owners will receive a special PS4 theme because fuck you, Xbox One and Switch owners. That will go by December 31st, 2021. Alex, that is the news for the week. We like to we like to settle the <laughs> we like to settle the episode down just a little bit near the end because <laughs> to slow us down for the weekend. Alex, <laughs> please for the love of God, tell me what you have queued for the week. I'm still thinking about your dude. <laughs> me too. Oh, me because too. You said that there's no. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no Zelda games. You know it's gonna trigger you the more. I'm gonna count the NES fucking console thing that's in there. There's Zelda in there. <laughs> that's true, I guess. And uh, hey, I can also play the the Link's Awakening. I was really excited for that. Woohoo! <laughs> One of the most forgettable Link Zelda games. Why don't you give a spirit tracker while you're at it? Jesus, yeah, Nintendo. You're, you're not so many people with that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really, a lot of people like that one. Oh, what do you have queued up for the week? It could be, of course, a video game, a TV show, a movie you are excited for. Too low H for the weekend. Of course, you can write in. What are you queued up for the weekend? What are you excited to play, watch, and or stream? Hmm. So right now, I am for sure playing Fortnite and Destiny. Oh yeah, baby. Um. I'm recently been watching the show Vikings, and I'm almost done with it. Is it good? Do I want? Do I need to watch this? I'm. Yes. I kind of want to. Seasons. I'm on season five, almost done. About to be on season six. Okay. All right. I need to. I need Mind to watch you, it. I started this last week. Yeah, this man's a monster. Like we need a thing that just says what TV show are you watching this week. I mean, that's what's cute is, but I guess I can yeah, make yeah. a second version of that. <laughs> <laughs> what's TV showing tonight, Alex? <laughs> Well, because I just finished these things so quick. Yeah, of course. Um, but no, it's it is good, and I'm it's just in watching this, watching Last Kingdom, 
doing all this stuff. I'm thinking about going to read um, North North Mythology by Neil Gaiman. Oh, that's um, cool. My wife has the uh, audiobook for it, mm-hmm. and I'm thinking about going back to God of War. No, oh, okay. I'm you're in, you're the, fully in. I'm in the mo- I'm in that Viking mood. I'm a, I'm assuming you're excited for Assassin's Creed then. Oh, totally. I mean that that guy that dude is literally the Vikings like guy. Like he looks exactly like that main character. No, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it, no. That I, Valhalla is what I'm waiting for. That's my most anticipated game of this year right now. That's good. I am excited to hopefully get my hands on some Avengers next week. I do not know if I'll have it as of posting. That depends on a couple codes coming in on time. If it doesn't, we will, of course, have uh, an, a standalone impressions video just of what we think of the first few hours of the game. And then we will do a spoiler cast once we finish it. I'm very excited to get my teeth sicked in. Alex, are you, are you playing this with me or am I by myself because you hate me? No, no, I, you, I hate you. I'm oh, gotcha. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm used to it used to your abuse but aside from that yeah ventures uh i wanted to watch whoops i'm currently <laughs> i'm currently watching the jeffrey epstein documentary on netflix jesus christ don't watch it unless you want to just really be grossed out but it's one of those things where i feel like it's historic so i should watch it that? jeffrey epstein the netflix documentary the gentleman that um mm. was arrested for Having a basically string of underage women have sex with uh, older men. Very disturbing, but very yeah. informative, at least. Yeah. Uh, I really brought the show down with that one. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe yeah. you shouldn't bring in intense documentaries at the end of the show. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, uh, and I'm going to watch Sesame Street. There we go. Lighten it up a little <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a big jump. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I don't really have anything planned to watch. I kind of want to try out the Viking show. I'm finishing up Psych. Um, I'm doing a Psych rewatch. I'm on season seven. There's eight seasons, so I'm Boy, almost. I, you told me that Altered Carbon was getting canceled, and I got really upset. That's true. I did tell you that. Yeah. So I, I, I saw a interview slash like announcement that Altered Carbon did get canceled after two seasons, which is upsetting. Ugh. Yeah, because I was going to say, I was so excited for three, which I don't know how the hell they were going to go from there, but um, it, season one and two were really good, and I they recommend watching that. Yeah, it sucks, and it's weird how Netflix shows work. So, like, I wonder if they go by, like, actual stream, like, like how, ma- how many people watch your stuff. I would assume so. That's how they go through it. Because like, it, if they, if it was really, really, really good, and, like, it'll say, oh, yeah, there's another season coming. Because there was a while there. They didn't cancel anything. I really, I really think it started with the, the Marvel Netflix shows. Mm-hmm. Like well, that. It's crazy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say like it's it, it, like that's what kind of started like. I feel like Netflix actually canceling shows because there's a while though they just wanted any like shows on their stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just crazy. It's just weird how it works too. Because like for example, I was just fi- I had finished that show, The Last Kingdom, and the last sh- uh, season had came out in the latest season came out in 2019, I believe. Right. And during the COVID pandemic thing, there was an interview and it was saying there was an announcement. The main the main guy announced to all the other coworkers. They were like, "Oh, we got renewed for a, se- a fifth season," and they were like, "Oh shit, really?" So, That's like, cool. They, yeah, like they got excited and stuff. I'm like, I'm wondering, like, like they just were told that there's a fifth season. So oh, like, I see that. That was your yeah. No, I've I I don't know TV as much as video games, but as far as I understand. You you're sometimes only approved season to season, so like yeah, you gotta wait till the season's done, and then like they'll tell you if you're good. Like for yeah, instance, that's how what cursed was the new cursed show. I think they, I think I don't know if they were in. I don't think if I don't know if they renewed for a second season yet, but I think they're in talks of they are. And it's I'm, weird how and, it works that way. And I'm assuming if you do good numbers, for instance, Amazon did the automatic renewal of the third season of the boys and we haven't even seen the second season yet so i'm you're assuming that they're getting a lot of like positive feedback from reviews and things like that they're like oh well we know this this is going to be giant so we're just going to make a new season now or you're supernatural and you get approved for thousands of episodes and you never end yep did you actually see that though for real i that's ending like their final season right now Oh no no yeah I have fine yeah they're finally ending that's crazy that's crazy I thought it was gonna be Doctor Who they were just gonna be someone else was gonna take over once they became too old yeah 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 that's crazy I mean hey, who knows maybe ten years later they'll be like oh supernatural 
natural. <laughs> oh, dude, I can always rely on you. <laughs> Supernatural, natural. Oh, God, I can't wait to tune in. And on that note, thank you so much for joining us on this very special episode of the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. We thank you so much for listening and giving us your time because we know it's valuable. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful, beautiful saturday i guess i don't know whatever your day you're listening to this make sure you have a good one hug the one closest to you we love you keep checking by remember patreon.com if you want to help us financially that keeps the mics on the lights on and keeping me from going insane because my setup is garbage and we almost lost the recording today (laughs) Uh, but i think i saved it thank you again remember patreon.com slash ggtubers every single friday you can if you do not uh want to do it financially we completely understand just do the little extra for us like comment subscribe subscribe share with all your friends leave us very nice reviews that helps us incredibly remember go chief go chief